Hey everybody, I'm Chucky2009, here with Mr. Steven Leone, Georgia Trade School instructor, and what are we gonna be doing today? All right, we're gonna be welding a one inch, 30 degree bevel on a quarter inch backing with a quarter inch space in the 2G position, which is horizontal. So we're gonna fill it up with 7018 and cap it with a junk ton of stringers. All right, now that sounds pretty good. Now, I know that a lot of educational institutions, I don't know if this is how you guys do it, but some places don't even bother doing this 1G, which would basically be flat on the bench as it is. They go straight to 2G because it's pretty stinking close. Yeah, two basically, uh, at least at Georgia Trade School, two covers you for one and then 3G is vertical and then 4G is its own. Yeah. Uh, we jump straight to horizontal. Um, if you can weld horizontal, then more than likely you can weld flat. Definitely. So. All right, so uh, what kind of joint preparation do we have here? Looks like, what is it, like a quarter inch gap or something you got between those blocks? Yeah, it's about 3 sixteenths, around a quarter of an inch. Okay. Um, we ground all the mill scale off. Anywhere the weld is going to be tied into, uh, we want to make sure that that is all prepped up and ready to go. Uh, mill scale BBs, wire brush, all this stuff out of here, all the soot and dirt. Um, make sure that you don't have any uh, weld spatter from your tacks in the joint. Um, anywhere that your weld is going to tie into, you want to make sure that it is clean and free of any debris. Wonderful. We don't want anything between our weld and the metal. Absolutely. All right, so I'm going to run a 332nd root. Um, basically, the rod angle I'm going to have is going to be slightly tilted up. If I come straight in, it's probably going to droop down and not tie into the top plate, but the goal here is to tie in the two plates to the backing strap. Now, if you have to oscillate the puddle and move it up and down, that's fine. Um, but with a gap like this, you should be um, at the correct amperage, should be able to just drag it in. Alright, so basically what we're looking for here is complete fusion of the three pieces, the backing strap to the two plates. Uh, you don't want trap slag, so if you need to scrape your slag out, take extra time, take your BBs out of there, anything that's going to get into the weld puddle um, and cause defects or any type of separation that's going to have a crack or tear. Now we're going to bust into eighth inch rods, we're just going to tie into the bottom of this toe right here, and we're going to tie into the top. Um, and basically we'll do that all the way out until it's time to cap. We'll just keep tying in welds, keep tying in welds. So basically we run our bottom layer of our 1 8 rod. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie into the top here. All right, so make sure you scrape out all the slag and all the BBs, but we're gonna basically do the same thing, tie into that top toe on the root pass, and then we'll be ready to continuously stack out the welds until we're ready to cap. So after proverbial millennia of welding, <laughs> Mr. Steven Leone appears to be ready to put down a cap pass. All right, so we have built ourselves up to flush. We have one, two, three, four welds in there. The edges of the plate are complete. Our bevel edges, however, our crisp edges are still there for our visual aid. So what we're gonna do here now that we are flush, we're gonna run on the edge, a couple in the middle, maybe three, and then cover up the edge. Don't come too far outside. Um, I know we've ground the mill scale back quite a bit, but that's just for safety reasons. Uh, but we are just going to come out about a sixteenth of an inch overall, so just a hair over, maybe a thirty-second on either side. We're not going to try to come over an eighth. So if the plate is flush and you have no undercut, perfect. If you're up a little higher, even better. Um, but that's basically it. We're just going to run these cap welds now and uh, we're ready to finish this off. All right. So you're going to aim your puddle for like the center of this edge or a little higher, a little lower? Or how do you like to do that? So because it's 2G, what I'll probably do is I'll angle the rod up a little bit and let the puddle kind of spill over. Just nice. with gravity, if I were to try to split that edge like in a vertical position, it would probably droop too much. So I'm just going to angle it up a little bit and let the puddle fall over. All right, cool.
one, two, three, four, five stringer cap. Main thing you want to look for is undercut, edges to be clean, no trap slag, you know, scrape your BBs off. Always want to make your, your plate look presentable before you show the employer you're testing for or your inspector, instructor, anything like that. So try to keep it tight, try to keep them tied in. Um, like I said, no slag, no undercut, not over an eighth, not underfilled, all that jazz. Wonderful. All right, thank you for demonstrating for us, Mr. Stephen Leone. Anytime. Links in the description.